Right then folks, here we have my mother's 32 inch Samsung telly that's decided to start switching itself off and on continually for the first two or three minutes switching it on and then it behaves itself it's been doing it for about a month now until eventually it's, it's not really turning on at all now uh, it's a uh, 32 inch LE 32A 436T 1D but I've looked on the internet and a lot of Samsung TVs seem to be plagued with this uh, capacitor issue my mum did actually ring up the uh, ring up Samsung before she told me about it and I think they put her through to a or passed on to a, a dealer in Barnsley um, who were going to come out and give it a free inspection then she rang me and told me about it and I did a quick bit of research and found this capacity problem and then when she rang the guy back to tell him not to bother her son's going to have a look at it he says well if we did a look at it it'll be about 190 quid and have to take it away so if it is the capacity problem it's only going to cost me a couple of quid to solder some new ones in then that's quite a saving so I shall I'll be taking the back cover off and having a look and take it from there well I've got the back cover off I've taken the power supply board off and um, it's not a good camera really for this but all the uh, all the big capacitors all look as they should there's no blown tops So I've just been trying to see if there's anything untoward or any dry joints and just in the bottom right hand corner if you have it this way round there's a uh, one of those it looks like a power transistor or what, I don't know there is what appears to be and again it isn't going to pick it up but it does appear to get a little bit hot because you can tell by the discoloration of all the components that are getting hot but it does appear that there could be some dry joints on the bottom two of the three pegs three pins it's not really picking it up so I'll have another inspection round and I'll fire up the soldering iron and give that a whirl and we'll take it from there I've got my trusty magnifying glass out and um, look at, again it's probably not going to pick it up look at those uh, those three pins on that what I'm guessing is a power transistor the middle pin is looking like it's starting to dry joint and the bottom one is definitely got a dry joint so yeah I'll still have another little look round, but I think that could be that could be the reason why it's playing up. Watch this space. Well, I've had the old trusty soldering iron going. Let's try and get it to focus. I don't know if again it's pretty poor quality, but these are the pins here. As you can't really tell, but I've got a nice big solder blobs on there now so I'll just have another final look around the board and then uh, I'll fit it and see what happens uh, well, I've got the board back in I'm just about to plug it in bang no no bang well, I've got the light on and the power button as usual I'll take the trusty remote, I'll turn it on. So what would happen before, it'd come on for about two seconds, then go off again, then on again for two seconds, then off again, then on again for two seconds, and it'd work for the rest of the day, but it got to the point where it just wasn't working at all. So I'm gonna press the power button. The power lights flashing. come on is it going to stay on it seems to be yeah it would have gone off by now 
great, I think that's it. Job done, so there you go. Hope that's helped you. Anybody with the same problems? See ya.